So there is no better place to announce today the new London Conference Framework for War Risk Insurance. This is a huge step forward towards helping insurers to underwrite investments into Ukraine, removing one of the biggest barriers and giving investors the confidence they need to act. With this and everything that we do here, we are sending a message that our support on the battlefield and beyond cannot be outlasted and that Ukraine's incredible spirit will prevail. We can truly crowd in the innovation and investment that Ukraine needs. The question for us today is what can we do to support this, to fast track recovery and help Ukraine unleash its potential? It's clear Russia must pay for the destruction that they've inflicted. So we're working with allies to explore lawful routes to use Russian assets. And on Monday, we publish new legislation to allow us to keep sanctions in place until Russia pays up. We will maintain our support for Ukraine's defense and for the counteroffensive. Because above all, we must build a platform for business. Only they can truly crowd in the innovation and investment that Ukraine needs. And that's why we're launching the Ukraine Business Compact for the private sector to pledge their support for Ukraine's recovery and reconstruction. And I am delighted to announce today that over 400 businesses from 38 countries with a combined market cap of $4.9 trillion have now signed up. Now, the City of London has a huge amount to offer. When I visited Kyiv recently, I could see the construction equipment, the JCBs, already visible everywhere. This URC is about unlocking Ukraine's potential, supporting Ukraine's immediate recovery needs and unlocking a private sector-led recovery. After the sacrifices and suffering of the war, Ukrainians are planning for a better future. And it is in the interests of the world that that country, the one that they rebuild, should be stronger than ever, integrated into global markets and self-reliant.